cheese and pepperoni pizza. That is cheese bread. Just for me. Got my little cow here. That must be Lord Farquaad's castle. Do you think maybe he's compensating for something? <laughs> Pepsi. Woo -woo. I've always been called the Pepsi girl from my husband. So when we met, so we worked together. We would go to lunch together and he thought it was the funniest thing. For lunch, I bring a can of Pepsi and a thing of Ritz crackers. Yeah, so I've always been Pepsi girl. What you got there, babe? Starbucks double shot energy. It's gonna yeah. make you stay awake for a while? Yeah. Do a video like maybe about half an hour later and see how I do. Let me see your eyes right now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Center is cool, babe. Can you find an Indiana one? Oh, Indiana right here, babe. Subscribe and ring our bell. And the next morning, good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. We are here at the Harvest Host, one of our Harvest Hosts, one of our um, last ones. Yep. Uh, today is the Fantastic Caverns. Uh, we had a pretty rough night, huh, babe? Oh yeah, a lot of praying, a lot of anxiety. <laughs> but God's good. He, my wife's good. Calm me down severe thunderstorms and rain um, a little leakage in the motorhome so when we get to Indy we're gonna look at that and um, yeah we're here to have some fun here yep and uh, check out the caverns this morning my mom gave us $60 shout out to mom shout out mom and papa and papa <laughs> uh, gave us money to go on this tour so it's exciting it's about an hour long Mm -hmm. So we will be showing you and taking you along with us. Yep. Well, here we go. Whataburger. Yeah. We're ready to do our review. Yes. See what we think of this. And see what all the fuss is about. Yeah, exactly. All right, got 
got some fries here. Boom. And hey, then yeah. I got some honey mustard sauce because mm -hmm. I love honey and I love mustard and I love honey mustard. All right, so here's mine, here's his. One, two, eighty. Hmm. Tastes like a burger. <laughs> it's a Whataburger. <laughs> you don't use a spread like In N Out. It's That's like, what mine looks like. Mine has mustard, tomatoes. Oh pickles the onions are sliced so that's different it is a very good burger actually tastes was, fresh i kind of forgot to ask for like well done because i like mine well done but it looks pretty perfect to me yeah there you so, go yeah i actually highly recommend this place um we're hoping that they will have one in indiana somewhere um yeah i would say out of burgers mm -hmm. i'm gonna rate this i'd say probably an eight Whoa. Yeah, you it's really, actually pretty good. That means she really likes it. Yeah, that. I'm just really hungry because we haven't had breakfast. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> so how about you? What's your rating, babe? I like this burger. It's not an In-N-Out burger, though. It's not In-N-Out, but um, there's nothing usually like In-N-Out. In-N-Out burger for me is like the bomb. But this one is a good burger. I give it probably a seven. Um, but the water burger is good. Um, the thing that I did not put was I didn't put cheese on it. Um, I just had too much cheese yesterday. Max, look. It's the Leaning Tower of Cheesa. Huh. Yes. Or like on the road, we had a, we got a Godfather's pizza, and um, yeah, it was just so much cheese yesterday. So I took a break from it. They only put mustard on their burger here. Um, yeah, I'm used to ketchup with it, so maybe that's why it tastes different. Mm -hmm. But I bet if I added a cheese on this burger and ketchup, it would probably be like up to standard. So that's why I, I rated it a seven. So. All right, awesome. There's a review. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya. All right, guys, we are here in Missouri at our boba place. It's called La Boba Cafe. All right, we just got our boba at La Boba Cafe. La Boba Cafe. And uh, I got the taro, which I usually don't get taro, but uh, they had an almond one, at, but I got that last time. So I thought I would try their taro. We got it actually with oat milk and mm. boba. And I found a honeydew, guys. Yeah, finally. Finally after, how many stops? Four or five? Oh my gosh, forever. Yeah. It seemed like every time we stop or look at a menu, we would be like, is there a honeydew, honeydew? And nope. finally, this yeah. is our last uh, boba reviews. Here we go. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Like a dessert. Mmm. Yeah. What do you think? Ten. A ten? Wow. Yeah, how, about, how about the boba? Oh, it's on point. Yeah? Soft? All ten. Yep. First 10, really. Or... Yeah, so I don't know if you guys have had taro boba, but it literally tastes like if you either had Fruity Pebbles or Fruit Loops as a kid with milk, and then yeah. you drank the milk after you ate the cereal, that's exactly Swim. what this tastes like. Mm -hmm. So it's really good. Yeah, actually I have to say, it's probably a nine. Oh, so, yep. Yeah. Oh, we didn't even do how many bowls. Mm. Well give it a 10 so what's that in the most max balls in <laughs> 10 balls 10 big balls and i did what nine nine, nine big, big balls, balls. so good. if you guys are here in missouri, missouri uh what city are we on i have no I idea don't know. anyways we're in missouri <laughs> if you're there next to the caverns check out this place la boba cafe yep awesome boba cheers cheers Goodbye and big balls. Yes. <laughs> All right, just wanted to come on here really quick and give you guys an update. We just left a little bit ago from the Fantastic Caverns. Sorry about our mess back here, but we live here for a while. So anyways, um, we left there a little bit ago. We've been doing a couple um, stops along the way. We are getting gas and then also dumping and also getting some water. We also stopped at the boba place and got our boba and we are about ready to hit the road but I wanted to kind of give you guys um, an idea of <laughs> what we dealt with last night. It was 
crazy, crazy weather. I think it was probably the worst weather storm that we've ever been in. The thunder and the lightning was just crazy. Tons of lightning, just the whole time, just the light, the sky lighting up from all the lightning. Also, the thunder was so loud that we just couldn't even sleep. I mean, it literally would just shake you to your core. So it was a rough night's sleep. So we had that going on. So on top of that, we actually, we were like, okay, well, it looks like we're gonna have to sleep out here um, at the, on the cab here, which is a bed that pulls down. It's cooler out here and uh, in, instead of our bedroom, which is way back there, the two tiny little windows and not enough air. So we're like, okay, well, maybe one of us can sleep on the couch or both of us can sleep up there. So my husband went ahead and pulled down the whole bed, which, which you're supposed to do, but the magnet up there attached from the ceiling. The screw pulled out of the wall, was still attached to the magnet, so the bed was literally hanging just from this side. There's just no way to drive with this thing like this. Luckily, we had some wood glue and so we pried the magnet off of there and then we added the glue and then we shoved it back up in there without the weight of the bed and we let that sit all night long. All night long! And then this morning we went ahead and shoved the bed back up and we put this pole here for extra reinforcement because we do hit a lot of bumpy roads while we're driving. So we have to be prepared for that thing to come down. Hope to God it doesn't. We pray that it doesn't on the road. You're not supposed to drive with the bed down because it can obstruct your view. So we're just hoping that this thing will hold. And we've got about a four hour drive, so that should be interesting. So we are getting ready to head out. My husband just dumped back there. And uh, yeah, I was gonna show you our stickers that we have so far of our states. All right, so we've got our California, where it's where we started from, and to our Arizona, New Mexico, to Texas and then Oklahoma and now we are in Missouri getting ready to head out to Illinois. We also added some pictures that we've taken along the way. I thought we would show you guys what we've gotten at each stop along the way. Here's our view from our bedroom. Just waking up at Tarsha Farms in Illinois. Here's the two other RVers that are staying here. So that's nice to see. And then I also see a truck over there, which is pretty cool. Can't wait to get out there and see all the animals. All right, I'm gonna reveal to you guys, our view from the front of the RV at the farm. Honey Check it out. All right, going out on the farm. So excited. If you build it, they will come. That's the silo right there. <laughs> Yeah, that see the cute camper. Yeah, this is a little store. So cute. Hello. This is like the cutest place ever. No, thank you. <laughs> 
my gosh, we loved it here. We've been here that long, just a year. Really? Okay. We've been here the same time. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. Yeah, it's it's amazing here. We absolutely it's love like it. Own Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he recommended, so they recommended you, you, and then she she made a little binder for us, and it has like all the places that we're staying at, and then she put the cash in there. She's like, if they have this towel, oh my please gosh, buy it so for sweet. me. Which one was it? It's the um I oh, don't I don't have an accent that y'all do. Oh, yeah, yeah. There it is. Yep. So I saw that. I saw. Oh, so, there it yeah. is. Yeah, honey bees and everything. Like we definitely. Yeah, we love honey. honey. Yeah, Luckily, definitely. We got like all under the table. Like look at all this <laughs> oh, honey. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh you got wow. quite the stock. Master, you like? Yeah. I mean, she's a big tea person. So. Well, Okay. Um, first week of January, and I'm like, okay, be here. That's fine. Whatever. I'll, I'll play. But yeah. My husband, my husband's way more into it than I am. I, I mainly let him do tea stuff, and then I yeah. take her North American Tea Expo. So I'm like, people from all over the U.S. are coming to this thing. Really? So it's like a big to do. Wow. Um, and they do like a honey swap. You can bring like a oh, yeah. eight ounce jar. Like, you want anything from Tennessee? He, he was just joking. He's like, yes, I'm whisking some honey. <laughs> and they literally brought him this thing. I love these little, I've never seen anything like this, these microwave bowl cozy. Yes, yeah, so like, that's, it's 100% cotton, so you could put it in the microwave with your bowl when you reheat. It's, it's no basically way. like a bowl pot holder, you can use it when it's fresh, or you could heat it in the microwave. That with is your awesome. My mom makes all those hot pads, and I just got that one yesterday from her. That's so cool. I thought these were hats when I first saw them. Kids always think they're hats. <laughs> Those are going on kids' heads, guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. I, I was like, this cat. I mean, this is more up my alley because I always carry one. Oh, yeah. I like cowboy boots. Said, That's uh, cool. Here. What, okay. what did they say? That was cool. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> I like road tripping. You put your hot thing on, though, that'll be fine. Yeah, so it's for like a hot casserole dish, but you get certain Okay. Things. I'm glad you agree because I found the best one. Uh oh. <laughs> I have... This one. Mm. See? No, I don't do red. Oh, here's black. <laughs> you just turn around. See? Mm. All right, so. How about a different one? Uh, a couple of those See? Oh, this one's kind of pretty. Some butterflies. <laughs> How about this one? Do you like that one? I love that one. I do too. One I, of my favorite fabrics. Every time somebody buys it, I'm like, oh, I should just, I should just <laughs> buy that one for myself. Yeah, yeah. I love it because I love butterflies. It reminds me of my aunt. We always say when we see butterflies, we see my aunt. She passed away like, gosh, 18 years ago, but it doesn't feel real that she's gone. But we always say butterflies is her. They like to lay eggs in random places. Uh, oh, really? In here, yeah. Every once in a while, I find a pile. Oh if I gosh. feel like I'm getting shortchanged. <laughs> yeah, you're like, where'd you hide them? I'm like, I know there's a hiding spot somewhere. They cool. they had like a little Easter nest in there. Oh. Hi, girl. Are you laying an egg in there? Yeah. Obviously, I'm the snack lady, so they come running when oh, like, they I look really good. So Hi, cute. Come on. <laughs> Ah, it feels weird. It's a little strange, huh? Yeah. A little startling. Yeah. They're all like... Oh, so cool. Look at this one. So cool, babe. That's, uh, she ends up being everybody's favorite. You're so pretty. Yeah. Piggy, hello. So, do you have two? Yeah. Yeah, so this is Eliza and Alexander Hamilton. Oh! Uh, she does not like Alexander that much. Uh, he's very fond of her. Oh. Just turned a year and he's only about five or six months. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. So, Fiona is the baby goat. Oh, oh he's really Fiona, funny. come here, honey. <laughs> she has no manners. Oh, uh, no. If you squat down, she will jump right on your back and um, it doesn't feel good. <laughs> this is Betty White, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, <laughs> Petunia, and Fiona. No. No. Calm when you got on baby. Oh, you can hold her if you like. It's kind of like just hold it up. Oh, I like my buttons. I know you like the buttons, huh? <laughs> She's got some babies in there. 
We don't know how to do that. We'll find out uh, mid October. Look what I found you, Mom. I don't have an accent. Y'all do. Got your towel. Yeah, the people here were super nice. Yeah, I was excited I found it for you. So there you go. Bye, goats. Guy, go, go play. Go play, bye-bye.
drivers every day in this thing. Oh my goodness, right? I think we've had enough excitement for eight days. <laughs> There's a caddy. Our storage right there. Hey, Margaret. Hi. Hey, <laughs> hey buddy. Yes. Who is you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. He's my boy. <laughs>